Hey everyone, Wadge Gaming here, back again with another video. So, um, yeah, um, the seasonal pairs uh, are coming out tomorrow. Uh, we've got Berg and Togepi, and we also have another unit. So, this video here today is just going to be a Sync Grid, gr sync grid guide on uh, seasonal Berg and Togepi. Uh, we're going to go through the Sync Grid, we're going to look at the stats, uh, we're going to look at what theme skills to put on, and also uh, Lucky Skill. Okay, uh, so let's get into the video. Uh, don't forget, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button if you do like the video. Um, share the content around, and also do check me out on my socials. Okay, so now we've got Berg and um, Togepi. Um, it will be a support unit, five stars. And it's also EX, a fairy type, and it's weak to poison. Looking at the passives, um, it's got team supercharger 5, so it has a very good chance of raising attack or special attack. Um, both of allied sync pairs when a move target opponent is successful, which is good. You can It's a bit like um, Blasters, because Blasters can also raise attack and special attack as well when it's hit. Or when it's attack, I can't remember, one of the two. Um, so this it does something similar, um, which is good. Um, as a support, uh, Catalyst accelerates the move gauge on the allied for the play when a sync move is used for the first time. Again, we've seen a lot of units that have this, like Blastoise and Xerneas, um, so it's not nothing new, but it's, it's good to have. Uh, healing super hit 9, so restores the user HP when a move is super effective. So, this is going to be really good to use in master mode or uh, FFB whenever you're using um, when the opponent's weak to fairy. Um, we do have the legendary arena, it is part weak to fairy, so this is going to be really good to heal up um, against fairy uh, with fairy moves. And then we can see the theme skills here, fairy type, your nova, seasonal outfit, artistic and free spirit. Uh, it's all the bog standard theme skills that you'll see on uh, Total P and Berg. Um, however, the main one that is like what I always say in all my sync group guides, just always go for the type support. Um, that is where you get the most buffs, um, so fairy support is the way to go. Uh, lucky skill because it's a support i'd always go with vigilance on support so stick with that uh looking at the move sets or oh, wait let's look at the stats first stats um they're a bit rounded i mean 200 200 200 200 200 after you max it out uh, level 130 20 out of 20 um when it's just that 130 of the attacks and the 190s and then you got the in the low 200s uh, defense, special defense, and speed. So um, it's not one of those supports that I would put in the beginning in the tactics. I'll probably put it at second. Um, but it's going to be amazing to use this with Diantha and Xerneas. I mean, just imagine all the three. I mean, they're all. It's a bit like the Kando trio, but in terms of fairy type, it's going to be the fairy trio. Um, it's going to be amazing to use this uh, in the game to see just to see how it works and how they complement each other. Uh, move it's only got oh, one move metronome uh, one move slot and it does a random move um, which we don't know um, so it could be anything uh, dire hit plus also that's really good it can raise critical hit uh, potion restores a bit of the allies hp and it's got happy colors so raises the accuracy of all allied sync pairs raises the defense special defense of all allied sync pairs by one to three stats ranks at random so um like what i said i this will be perfect to pair with Diantha and um, God of War and Xerneas. Just because you can raise the critical hit and the defenses. And then Xerneas can raise the special attack, special defense and speed. And also Togepi can raise attack stats as well. So all, all Diantha and God of War has got to do is hit. So that's going to be amazing to use. Um, let's go move on to now the sync grid. Um, so let me just filter it now to Togepi, um, 1 out of 5, so let's see what it's got, 1 out of 5, it hasn't really got as much, I mean it's got die hit plus all, which you don't really need because you've got 2 slots, I mean, if you're going for battle villa then yes you, you go for it, um, again it's not really got that much, it's got clear headed steady aim, um, so your critical hit cannot be lowered, clear head did prevents you from being confused and then it's got unbending so your defense cannot be lowered and special defense so your special defense cannot be lowered so this is what i'd go for at one out of five um you can see here look it doesn't do that much in this grid 
Um, so if you do go for this, um, let's look at what 2 out of 5 can give you and we reset this. 2 out of 5 you have a lot more to play with in terms of MP refreshes. Uh, let's go over here to get the standard grid. So you got here Potion Marsh. Oh, sorry, no Potion Martian. Uh, Potion Master Healer One, which we've seen before on um, other Pokemon. So it will increase more HP when you recover. And then I'll definitely go for Potion MP um, Refresh um, on this. Uh, and then I would go for Vigilance. However, you can get Vigil Vigilance as a lucky skill. And then you can probably give it. Um, uh, the lucky skill where it can't flinch um, so maybe yes maybe I'll go for that so it can't flinch and then give vigilance on this um, again if you don't go for vigilance on this grid uh, you can always put it on a lucky skill uh, then you also got critical strike one which I don't know why you have <laughs> um, it's a bit standard so yeah you don't really need to go for that uh, it's also got here team healing super hit 9 so restores the HP of all allies and pairs when a move is super effective which when you face someone that is weak to fairy especially in master mode hitting with this your whole team heals and this is only at 2 out of 5 so if you do go for this minimum try to get 2 out of 5 um, then you've got happy colors MP refresh again you do want this because you don't know how much your stats are going to be raised um so saying that you may just want to go through this way and then you still got 10 more so you maybe you would want to go up here to get more stats um if you don't want to go through that route um you can take it off and go for star vault uh take that off take unbending off and we, we can put it this way and then we can go up here to get metronome um move gauge refresh um but it's only move gauge refresh one um, but it is a one gauge move, so it's not going to cost that much. And then you do have Super 4, so it's got more of a better chance to raise your special attack uh, when the user is hit by an attack move, which is pretty good to have. So this is the grid that I'll go for for 2 out of 5. So you can see it is good at 2 out of 5. However, 3 out of 5, it's damn good. Um, the grid that I'm going to go for for 3 out of 5 um is gonna be this route so i'm definitely gonna put the potion master healer one uh i'm gonna put both nodes on and um, potion mp refresh uh, and then i'm definitely going to go this route where my defenses cannot be lowered and i'm gonna put team healing super hit nine and then potion mpr refresh so i'm gonna use this as a potion healer um and also a team healer when it hits and I'm going to put Vigilance as the lucky skill. And I'm going to probably pair this up with um, Diantha, Gardevoir and uh, Xerneas. Um, other grids that you could go for. Um, it's a bit difficult. I, I, I still think that this is the best grid to go for. I mean, if you want to actually get more for your... Um, what's it called? Uh, healing or team healing you can put super effective 2 on so it will power up more of your moves if it's super effective and then you've got the team healing as well so you can increase more with that um, so that is an option to have um, however it is down to you I would rather go here so my stats cannot be lowered because this doesn't have impervious um, so yeah so this is what I would go for for my grid um, so just to sum up, this is the grid that I'll go for 3 out of 5. Um, so it's more of a potion healer. I'll team this up with Diantha Gardevoir and uh, Xerneas. Lucky skill I'm going to put on here is Vigilance. Um, if you do have Vigilance, just go for the one where you cannot flinch. Um, and then theme skill, you just go for Fairy um, if you have the, um, the power-ups to power it up. And uh, yeah, this is the grid. So good luck on your summons. Uh, do let me know in the comments below if you are going for Togepi and uh, Seasonal Berg. If you do, let me know how many copies you get. Let me know if you're lucky or if you're not lucky. I will be doing, um, uh, I will be pulling on Togepi. I am definitely going to try and get three out of five. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see if I can get lucky like Iris and Hydrogen. Um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just, um, I just can't wait to use this, that's why, I just can't wait. I mean, we've got so many fairies already in the game, adding more fairies in, why not, <laughs> why not? Um, I mean, they will all complement each other, but 
hopefully soon we'll get other types like ground and ice uh, we'll see so yeah so that's the end of the video uh don't forget to smash the like button do subscribe do follow me on my socials uh do check out my master of madness series against charles odd marsh on sundays and stay tuned and i'll see you